Am I introducing myself first? <laughs> you don't have I don't to. have to introduce myself. <laughs> hey guys, it's Ryan at GPI. And it's Alex. We're in Jeff Tindall's 2018 ZL1. We've had this thing on the dyno the majority of the day today, most of the morning and then after lunch. actually see it on the graph, the trace chart, the green line that really spiked up in this area, carried the wheel spin and dropped back down immediately when I let off the throttle. So uh, probably around 22 pounds boost. How much boost do you expect to make? That's about right. I mean, 22, 23 pounds probably. It may pick up a little bit with the filter off. Air fuel ratio is pretty close to about where I want to run it. it Maybe a little bit low on timing. I'm going to put a degree of timing in it make a follow-up pull with no other changes and we'll see what that does for our power curve. 1.9 gallons, used a little bit. Trans is crispy. range where I had some timing scooped out of it. I'll probably leave it in the 4,500 area and then I'll take it back out up top. I even picked up just a touch of spark knock on cylinder three that time. It wasn't there on the previous pool so it's about 5,800 right about where it makes peak power. Yeah it definitely didn't seem like it cared anything about it at that point so I'm just going to take that degree back out. Goodbye. Our fuel pressure looks good, our air fuel ratio looks good, the boost curve looks good. And that pool was actually a little bit hotter intake air temps than the previous pool. Evident because it made just a little bit less boost. I'm not even gonna keep that graph because it wasn't it wasn't really a worthwhile change. I'm gonna look and see if there's any spots on the air fuel curve that look like they need touch, but it's pretty much about 12.0, 12 12.2, 12 a little spike to 12.3, but the, the next spike down was 11.9, so you kind of have to play the average with the sensor. I'll take a degree out. So what are we shifting at? Uh, this car is probably going to be around 65, 6600. Really? Stock cam, stock heads, completely stock engine, other than the, the ported blower and the external bolt-on mods. So uh, it's not going to be a, a real high RPM setup. It's one reason we're kind of limited on fuel system too. If I had an aftermarket cam. I'd have the bigger fuel pump lobe on it and we would have some additional headroom with the high side fuel system. The car also does not even have an aux pump on it and it looks like the low side pressure is holding up so far. Um, we don't have E in it yet though. So, Fold air temps 131. I'm going to try to let that cool another couple of degrees. 1.7 gallons of fuel. Six gear, yep. In the 120s. Pretty mirror image of the temperatures on the last pump. Like that degree of time. It looked like it fell off on 
25 horsepower, taking a degree of timing out of it. Air fuel ratio was still pretty close. So that was essentially two degrees less timing than the last pull. I'd like to see if a degree or a degree and a half back gets us back to where we were at. Should. Let's just see how bad it murked it in the mid range with that degree of time. Well, I didn't take the timing out super low either though. So what's the timing up top? Yep, as you can see, 5,500 RPMs and up, it was way down. You can tell it didn't care about the timing in the mid range. It gave no craps about it, but about 5,400 range and up, it wants it there. So our first pull was probably the coolest pull. And then I put that degree of timing in it, made just a touch less boost and made a little bit more power despite being hotter and a little bit less boost. I'll tell you what, let's do for a science experiment here. Let's take 5,600 and up. I'm gonna put that degree back in and then I'm gonna put two degrees on top of that for this one pull, basically adding three degrees from where we were at on this pull. That'll be one more than we were on our pull where we made the 795 or 796 earlier. There'll be one more degree of timing than that. I wanna see, uh, did it temperatures affect that second pull? You know, looking back, we didn't make that much more power with the degree of timing, but the blower temp was hotter. And now our blower temp is maintaining that upper 120 range and our engine temp is about the same so we're pretty constant now in our temperature now that we have heat in it i want to put that timing back in it and see if it shows us a benefit because the first run was the coolest run it had a little less timing in it but the, the blower was cooler so i just want to do this this will tell us real quick if it wants the timing or not looking for around 126 125 to 127 range on the intake air temps and Approximately two gallons of E in it. 
things to see what the actual mixture comes up to and to try that I guess. Fuel system's holding in, it looks great. I mean the high pressure, low pressure, injector pulse, all that stuff looks great. I don't see any cause for concern there. We'll put a little bit of E in it, cycle it through, and see if the fuel system will hold its head up. I may or may not have already made it down there. That's okay. I may, may, may have already made as much power as I wanted to make. Well, now you gotta do it again. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. It made 829 on the last, on that first pull after lunch. On the same tune up we had in the car, no changes. Just from it cooling down 30 horsepower almost. But it was a little lean. Remember I said that I thought that once it cooled back down that it may pick up a little bit of boost. It really didn't pick up much boost. I'm still in like the mid, 240 range, like around 240 kPa, 238 to 243 kPa. It was a little leaner on the cool down pull, so I added a couple percent fuel and I added a degree of timing. So, yeah, let's get to it. 829, I mean, 80, like 807 torque or something like that. Dang. Pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Or taking this thing out to uh, hopefully make some clean pulls just to validate our data on the road mainly more so than anything. We just want to know that the tune-up looks good on the road, uh, matches everything we saw on the dyno. So here we go, let's take a rip. I love that I don't know if anything's coming or not. Seems really safe. You want this log open? You want to wait a second? Well, Jeff's car was um, absolutely a handful on the road, just as we presumed it would be. It has like hard tire radials on it, not even like the factory tires. So it's just very much not manageable. We, we squeezed in a, a few um, rips where it was just basically skating around the whole time. But ultimately what I wanted to see was that the air fuel ratio and the timing and the boost we were seeing on the road and the intake air temps were matched pretty well what we were seeing and the data looked as good as it did on the dyno and it and it did just that so uh next step is jeff picking up the car throwing some uh throwing the drag pack on and going to the track and starting to get this thing dialed in we're number chasing so uh it's time to get to it thanks everyone for tuning in please like subscribe and comment below also give us a follow on our social media channels facebook instagram and tiktok as always we appreciate you guys and we'll see you again next time